Going to trap. I'm done. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, Bye, Corey. Bye, Bye, Corey. We're done. But I'm getting so ready like to tell you. So this like a copy and paste guy. Yes. So Corey's at the bottom. Corey's at the very bottom. It's hard out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just scrapped my playbook, meaning that what I'm accustomed to, what I like, all of it goes out the window. I'm open to any woman here. Good court, you can't take them all out. Yeah, I knew you're, yeah, I'm, I was making, I was making a joke, but, but, but you're right. Gentlemen, one of you, your first impression was far from impressive. Lamont and Corey. The ladies said they had a little bit more questions than butterflies when it came to you fellas. I just feel that one of you gentlemen would be leaving right now. I was really just feeling defeated. And I was like, I'm cool to go home right now because I, I totally blew this. The gentleman who was going home is Lamont. Your journey ends here. It's 3 30 in the morning. And after just a long day of just meeting new guys, meeting new women, I would think right now I'd be dead tired and dead exhausted, but I'm not. I just got so much on my mind. <sighs> like me leaving this earlier today and how I feel right now, just like two different people. I mean, I'm be honest with you, today just did not go as much as I, as planned. I thought coming home today, this would be a completely different uh, feeling or different experience. And right now I just feel frustrated, angry a little bit, sad. A lot on the frustrating side is that the whole entire time they were saying, hey, look, just be yourself, just be authentic, just be genuine. And the, the genuine me is just so different than what most people would expect or, or are accustomed to that they may see my attentions or my actions to be something that it wasn't. And tonight, everything just blew up in my face out of out of nowhere. Um, and it really bothered me, like really bothered me to the point where I really just wanted to go home at that moment. I was like, yo, this is not for me. Uh, I just want to go home. Um, I, ain't gonna, I can't even front. At, at one time, it, when I'm trying to apologize to one of the women. Like I literally had to fight back the tears because I was just like tears of, of just frustration, just like the whole main reason for me even going through a process like this is that my, me thinking that if any woman is willing to do this and do it this way, just maybe, just maybe one would get me, see past all the quirkiness, see past all the shenanigans, see past all the extra and just be like, yo, he's really an awesome guy. He's just a lot to take in at first. That's my major reason for doing this. And then for who I really am to blow up in front of, to blow up like this, that was a lot to handle. And especially not being able to hide or run away. I had to sit there in the fire and take it. And while all eyes were on me, that was a lot. That was really a lot. Um, and then to end up in the bottom two, the first night, I mean, that was, a, that was shocking, very shocking. I was just, I don't, I don't even know, man. I, I was just doing what I normally do. If I meet somebody, I, if I meet somebody, I don't, I don't do a whole lot of small talk or chit chat, I just, hey, Let's go on a date and let's go from there because I know my strengths. I'm a very serviceable guy. I'm a very 
everyday guy. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, I just didn't see this coming. I, I didn't see this coming. So, only thing I can do or hope for right now is that I get a good night's sleep. Try to do this tomorrow, see what happens. I don't know. This, all I can say is that this night it did not go to plan. And my hopes of just finding just one, just, I don't, I don't see it. I, I think the ladies probably have made their mind about who they think I am versus who they know I am. So I don't know. Maybe I made a mistake. This is 